everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Monday plan with me. I'm back doing a speed plan with me with the voiceover so I'm slowly getting back to normal but this week I'm not going to be using a kit from Etsy as to be quite honest I've been so busy I haven't actually done any shopping on Etsy for a long time and I'm slowly started to run out of um, kits. So I did have this though in my collection I believe I bought this from like a Facebook D stash group um, I think it may be for the recollection planner because these are like sheets that you would tear out of a book but they're all very pretty they're all gold foiled blues and pinks and I thought I would use them this week and I'm also using these glitter headers which were from strawberry lime designs as they matched the kit the colors matched really really well so I'm going to start with these long strips and this kit is on it's kind of like a thick paper or a thin card I would say it's more like a thin gloss card so I just stuck the two long strips down at the bottom of my planner and then I took the glitter headers and I'm just putting them all the way along the top I did only use three of these colors I used the pink and the blue as that matched with the kit and then also a kind of like a light purpley color I used that color as well because I thought it would just go nicely So going in day by day I started with one of my pop it alarm clocks and then started to write down that my daughter doesn't have any college on Monday just to kind of remind me and then I remembered that the pen that I just wrote no college with is the same pen that I used last week and it bled through the paper so this uniball pen that I was using last week mm, it's a no-go I'm not going to use that in my planner anymore because it bleeds through to the next day or the next page sorry um, so I just covered that up with some of the washi put my little alarm clock on top and then I took one of these heart stickers which comes on my freebies and just write down no college that way also while I'm talking about my freebie sitting there I am currently designing new freebies for the shop I'm so excited I've had so much time to myself that I've got so much designing done but because I haven't done it for a while that I've started loads of different projects but they're all kind of half done <laughs> because I've been so excited and trying to get it all out so I need to go back and like go through them one by one but freebies packaging and the advent calendar are three main things that I'm working on this week so um, here I'm just writing down a list of everything that I want to do today I've already called PC world and hopefully I'm taking my printer in and getting a new one tonight so all of you that have been waiting for your orders thank you so much for being patient and hopefully I'll have my printer tonight I'm going to do printing and cutting like literally as soon as I've set it up just so I can catch up and hopefully get everyone's orders posted out Tuesday if not Wednesday. Moving on, my daughter doesn't have any college again so I just marked that down with another heart sticker from the freebie sheet and then I just put down a glitter header to cover up the pink line and then a checklist. Underneath that I took another one of these long strip washi sections and just trimmed that down to size and on top of that I just put one of my planning puppets as I want to design like I said I've got lots of things happening this week so I definitely want to spend a lot of time designing this week and then I also obviously need to do my food shop as usual I do that every Monday and then my daughter will have some homework to do for college Then took another glitter header and put down this full box with a cloak with a cloak with a quote which says uh, small steps every day and then underneath just to kind of fill up that space I used a thin piece of washi and one of the text stickers that says lovely for Wednesday I started with this today what is this like a big page flag kind of sticker I'm not sure what you'd call this but I started with that at the top and then I put another alarm clock and a sleepy face because my daughter will go to college so we're getting up early and then f underneath the glitter header I just put an important sticker down which was to remind me that I need to sort out my son's work experience so I just put down one of the PC poppets to mark that It's also that time of the month when that sounded like I was going to talk about women's troubles, but no. Mm. 
I also need to give my cat his medicine so I've just put that down with the pop it cat sheet it come with like this medicine and there's a vets label I believe so I use the medicine one and um, to fill up some time I just put this XOXO sticker as I want to do some more designing and then underneath the bottom there I've got a few websites that I want to check out as well on Wednesday And then moving on to Thursday, I used the washi that's got love written all over it, so I just trimmed that down to size. And it's my cousin's birthday, so I put a full box down with some bunting, some balloons, and a birthday poppet, which I do put on later, actually. I just realised, because I'm looking at my planner and looking at my footage, and I'm not putting it down, but I do put it down later. But that's just to mark my cousin's birthday. And then I wanted to create a to-do section, so I took a gold foiled to-do sticker, and then a long checklist which I just had to move around so it fitted properly and just filled all of that out at the bottom I put a glitter header down with a large label it which says it's the little things as me and my sister are meeting up for lunch although I spoke to her a little while ago and we're swapping it over to Friday like the pains of being a planner girl sometimes when people just rearrange the plans but that doesn't really matter but we're going to have a sister lunch and then moving on to Friday I wanted to remind myself that my daughter only has half a day at college so I just put that down with a don't forget label which was on my freebie I put another full box down with a film sticker and a little poppet holding a planner. Done a today checklist and then moved on to the bottom part which I put another checklist as I wanted to split those two things up into things to do with the house and then things to do for work. And then moving on to the weekend, obviously I didn't have a weekend banner so I just put a piece of washi down with a hello sticker. I want to get some housework done, I wanted to mop the floors, very thrilling stuff I know. <laughs> and then um, my to-do list on Saturday was I wanted to find a few new podcasts to listen to because when I was taking the children up to college and driving home, podcasts were like saving my life that's all I listen to so I definitely want to find some new ones to follow and then I just switched those around because I wanted to make sure I blocked off some time in the afternoon to have family time to fill up the space I just used some more of the love washi and just trimmed that down to size and then for Sunday I started with one of these really large page flags I put down a glitter header and then just blocked that next bit off with a full box And then I just created my usual Sunday to-do list. I can't find my pop-it checklist. I think I've run out and I need to restock them. Um, but it's just all the usual things, getting things ready for school, like uniforms, shoes, bags, PE kits, you name it, I'll do it. And then to mark having a early night, I just took one of the round stickers and a pyjama pop-it. Now I've sped up the sidebar situation because <laughs> It was a hot mess. So I've, I've sped this up. Honestly, I'm saving you because I was there for such a long time. I think because you, I didn't have set stickers that are obviously in sticker kits. When you get into a routine of using the same stickers in your sidebar, when you suddenly haven't got them, you're kind of lost. So this did take quite a while, but I just wanted to try and create a full box app at the top. I did get there in the end. It does get there, but I mean, it was painful the first time, but now watching it back, I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but we did sort the top bit out in a moment. And then as I got through the actual sidebar, I realized that that wasn't gonna work. So I kind of moved a load of stickers around. I think at one point I may have had like five stickers all over my hand, <laughs> just trying to get it through. But I was starting to put down a checklist there and I realized the pen from the week before had bled through on that bit. So I definitely wanted to cover it up with as many full boxes as I can but then I really wanted to use this typewriter I think it was a typewriter that's what made everything go wrong because I wanted to use it so I just had to rearrange everything and I did finally fit it in there and it all worked and it looks pretty so once I'd finished all of that I went through and added some deco well it was not really deco they're kind of like little flowers and hearts so it is deco
I really wanted to put some more of the like lettering down, especially when it's foiled lettering. I just think it looks pretty. So I put that down. There was a few like arrows. I switched things out for little hearts. And then I had this massive and sign. I mean, I didn't really need it in my spread, but I just had to use it. So I did actually fit that down on the Saturday. And then I just filled all of my checklists out off camera. And then this is what it all looks like now I'm finished. So I really really enjoyed using this kit, I love all of the colours and obviously having full gold in it just is a winner for me and I had loads and loads of stickers to kind of use and play with and I've still got quite a few left as well which is really really good. It is a little bit daunting trying to create a spread when you're not using a kit, especially if you are used to using a kit so you use the same stickers over and over and over. So um, yeah it can be a little bit daunting when you're looking at just kind of sheets of stickers and not a kind of kit put together for you but I really enjoyed it and I really love the colours I really like how it turned out as well I hope you guys have enjoyed this plan with me I can't wait to show you all of my new releases hopefully new releases will start back up in October and the advent calendar will be coming out probably for kind of pre-sales in October and that way I can get ahead of myself so make sure you keep an eye on my Instagram which will probably be where I well no, I will say it on here as well when I'm going to release it so nobody gets left out. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you everything that's going to be coming into my shop. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you next time. Bye guys!